Hello everyone and welcome on into Centrum of Kind Case Host Tarot. This is Sunny. I am very excited to be on with you all today as we continue to sojourn, solve truth, for meaning, peace, and understanding. We are communing today on the behalf of Scorpio. It is time for the Scorpio reading. So excited to be with you all. It is 9.59 a.m. and it is October 20th. Yes. Um, why don't you all take a moment to like and subscribe. Um, I really do appreciate it when you all do. To my current subscribers, I thank you. Love you so much. If you're new here, welcome on in to where we are reaching behind the veil for truth. As we continue to commute throughout this magnificent journey we're on here. If you're looking for a person reading, the information is listed within the channel. Um, also, don't ever be afraid to leave me a comment. I'd love to know how you all are doing um, and how I can best manifest in your all's lives. We're going to be taking a look, Scorpio, at the center of your heart space. Then we'll be moving behind the veil, seeking answers from the embers of the veil. Um, then we'll get answers on the spirit realm and the soul realm and move deeper into your reading. Spirits, give us the highest and divine message of truth for Scorpio this time, please. What's happening with Scorpio? happening at the center of the heart space for Scorpio at this time, please. Have me hit the center of the heart space for Scorpio at this time, please. We will inhale and exhale. Have me at the center of the heart space for Scorpio at this time, please. Give us the highest and finest of truth. For Scorpio at this time, tapping the Scorpio spirit. That's the highest of my message for truth for Scorpio. Thank you, spirit. Ooh. Yeah, we have the delirium phase showing up here, Scorpio. I hurt myself and I know it. So you're involved in a love connection here um, that you know is not serving you any good because this card is the capsule of love, the chamber of secrecy. Yeah, you're harboring some kind of secret. Yeah. 
something that you don't want somebody to know or anybody to know. Mm. And an unhealthy connection here. What's happening behind the veil? Mm. What's happening behind the veil for Scorpio? Yeah, this is, some of you are very anxious right now. I feel that very really heavily in the spirit here. Um, some of you are working to um, begin loving yourself again. I see the flowers of Heaven's Garden here showing up, which is huge. Um, growth is taking place on the internal. Uh, we also have here dipping thy feet in the blood of Harbinger's peace. So the divine is giving you peace at this time concerning um, whatever this secret is. There's something here. The secret love. Hmm. I'm almost feeling unrequited love taking place here for some of you. I mean, it's like you're mourning someone. You know, we have scaling and renewing with the passage of thoughts. But you're trying together and collect your thoughts here. Um, but the divine is showering you love at this time as you are attempting to uproot yourself out of this pain. You know, because you've been trodden upon the yelling, fleeting flames of lost souls. Yeah. But alongside this, you've been dwelling in the meekness of warm water. Yeah, so you've been definitely doing some soul seeking. Yeah, because your soul is telling of the yearn that cannot speak. Yeah, some of you, um, I really feel like this is unrequited love here for some of you. I see that in the spirit. Yes, there's the secret love, the capsule of love here. Unrequited love giving of love and no return. Let's get deeper here. Um, what's happening in the spirit realm? Why is this happening to Scorpio spirits? Why is there a displacement of Scorpio's love concerning the spirit here? What's happening in the spirit realm for Scorpio? Chasing debt, chamber of Hel uh, Hellenistic persuasion. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of you feel like giving up at this time. Yeah, because there's somebody that you love very deeply here. Chasing debt is literally killing you um, to not be with this person. Let's see. Why is chasing death your spirits? Hellenistic persuasion. Chamber of Hellenistic persuasion. Hmm. 
there could be something here that this person got you involved in, Scorpio, that you're keeping a secret. What is this person? Because we have the three-headed, nine-eyed snake chamber of all soul windows, harbinger of the soul's awakening and decline, treachery befalls you. And this is an accompaniment with chasing death. So that's very that's not good at all, Scorpio. Because it's like you're you're running into this head on, knowing that you're hurting yourself. You're doing something here involving someone that you love here. And this person is basically aiding in your downfall. Knowingly or unknowingly. And it's still, yet still, upon this person's shoulder, you remain. But you're receiving an awakening of truth from the divine. As your spirit is traveling um, and re-navigating itself, you're nearing the light of passage here. And you are um, identifying selves within you that need to be reviewed at this time. My goodness. There's some type of um, bad energy that's surrounding you. I did see defiled spirits surrounding you, uh, Scorpio. So be careful who you're dealing with. Some of you may be, it may be family members or somebody in your family that's trying to get you to partner with them to do something that you shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we see here at the bottom of the deck, the circles of hell comprised. Agonies and mourning, ultimate betrayal of self. Yeah, the relinquishing of the veil of van vanity. I mean, the main energy of your reading, Scorpio, is that you're betraying yourself in some way. What What's happening in the soul realm? happening in the soul realm for Scorpio. Just reading it for Scorpio. Yeah, there's a betrayal of self. And by this betrayal, treachery befalls you. Mm. My goodness. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you, you've been resting within the winter of thy soul. You've left your own self out in the cold here. I mean, this is a, like an ultimate self-sacrifice for the ones you love or for the one you love. And there's a coldness inside of you. You become cold and bitter you know, because of the legacy of your pain. And it's causing you to replicate your pain. And it's causing psychological distortion at this time. Atmospheric winds of change. Controller of the mind, scattering of thoughts, troubling thoughts, harbinger of the mental mazes. Yeah, so you're you're literally troubling your own mind here. This coldness, cold heart. You turn cold on the world due to turning cold towards your own self. Who am I speaking to? Yeah, let's take a look deeper. Spirits, give us the highest divine message for Scorpio at this time, please. Give us the highest divine message for Scorpio at this time. What's happening with Scorpio? Give us the highest truth. What's happening with Scorpio at this time, please. <clears throat> ultimate betrayal of self and you know it Scorpio yeah due to this capsule of love yeah it's the capsule of love lost in time you're lost in this love here it's nearly made you lose your mind Scorpio who am I speaking to you have the queen of swords mm. have eight of cups. Both of these cards are in the upright. 
We have Seven of Cups in the upright. We have Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, we have the Empress. And we have the Two of Pentacles. All of these cards in the upright, Scorpio. Yeah, I see you in the recent past, or Scorpios, um, facing some type of harsh truth. Yeah. It's mostly due to the secrecy, the discovery of something uh, which leads you to walk away. You're walking away from a lot of people here, a lot of situations, circumstances here, and it has you in this confused state of mind. Not really knowing which direction to take, which option to take. And you looking very sad here in this Queen of Pentacles energy. I just see you, you know, um, really feeling hopeless at this time. Um, but very quickly rising to your full potential. This is current energy. I do see your finances and everything in order. You're very loyal. You're a loyal, giving person. Um, but you're trying to make a major decision here. So let's see. One more Scorpio. Yeah, we have seven of pentacles in the reverse. No longer choosing to invest in something. Oh. And it's no longer investing in the devil. Look at this. Capricorn energy. We've got Taurus energy as well. Empress is Taurus. Um, there's some type of toxic energy going on here. Look at this. And you waiting. Yeah, we've got the devil, three of wands, and the sun. Yeah, there's definitely something or someone or an energy force. That's really what I'm feeling, an energy force, a demonic energy force that's after you. And you've been betwixt these energies. Um, but you're no longer investing in toxic energies that you're producing your own self. Because this devil energy is in your energy. There's, there's something... This, this has a lot to do with this ultimate betrayal, Scorpio. Betraying yourself in some way. And I see you standing here at a crossroads. Um, due to an awakening. I did say something here to the effect of, the, of a truth. Facing truth. This sun card is this awakening that you need to leave whatever these circumstances are out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Some of you may have also had some type of financial loss. Or that coming up in the future due to some unwise decisions. What's going on here? Scorpio. Yeah, what did I say? There's that, that truth. Yeah, so you have the devil speaking into your ear on one shoulder. And then you have the divine speaking into your spirit. Yeah. Yeah, there's been, yeah, I mean, there's this heartbreak here. You're trying to heal yourself, four of swords, coming up with a new plan, three of pentacles. Mm. Yeah, for some of you, I see your soulmate showing up here now. Yeah, you, yeah you're worried your soulmate doesn't love you anymore. You know, we've got Knight of Cups in the reverse, Six of Cups. This could be an ex, definitely a soulmate connection. Um, twin Flame. Yeah, I mean, look at you looking towards this person, wishing they would face you, accept you for who you are. I don't know who that's for, but I just heard that in the spirit. Accepting you for who you are. Yeah. And that's really at the main, the main energy is the Four of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. That's the main energy you trying to heal yourself. There's that Sword of Truth 
that remains within your soul um, underneath this heartbreak. Three of Swords energy. Three of Pentacles. Let's verify. Uh, why is Queen of Swords here? For Scorpio. This reading is for Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. And the Magician. Yeah, there's something going on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is a committed relationship here. It's showing up heavily in your energy, Scorpio. Yeah, but of course we saw that earlier on in your reading. Because you're in the capsule of love phase here. I hurt myself and I know it. Yeah. This person here appears to be. Uh, but we have here the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Um, but these clarification cards we have here for the Queen of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. <coughs> I see this person, your soulmate, coming into your energy to try to do some type of peace offering, an apology, or trying to communicate, coming in with communication here about um, issues in the relationship. But you want to be careful here because they show up as the Magician. You see the Infinity symbol there. This person... Definitely could be a manipulator, which is what's caused a lot of the discord and the connection in the in the committed relationship here. This is uh, also Taurus energy, the Hierophant. Um, but I also see behind um, the reflection paths here that this is also you taking a stand here on what next to do in this commitment. Yeah, but I see you taking the stand to walk away. Let's see. Because very quickly you move into Eight of Pentacles energy. Why is Eight of Pentacles? Excuse me, Eight of Cups energy, Scorpio. Eight of Cups, please. The Fool. Aries energy. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. And the High Priestess. Yeah. That's you showing up here. The High Priestess is Pisces energy. But it could be the other water signs as well. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But this is you trying to harness your intuition here. You're trying to be very intuitive about the decisions that you make in the near future about your soulmate connection. But I do see <clears throat> um, you taking the risk here or this person taking the risk. To come towards you to, for reconciliation here. But you're being very intuitive here. Kind of closed off. Because there's a lot of grief here. And, and you're being kind of closed off too. Also, Scorpio, because you're taking time to review your options here. And you're also surveying this awakening that you've had. Some type of truth. And you also feel that this soulmate connection has you stuck in some way. Stuck, like hanged. Like you can't get out. But I see a wish fulfillment coming in. Your wish fulfillment, Scorpio, I can see in the spirit is that this person comes back to you. That this person loves you. Um... Seven of Cups. Mm. Nine of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> oh, wow. To the King of Cups. To the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Interesting. There's definitely been a loss of passion here. Um, 
and a loss of emotion. But see, this is what it is, Scorpio. This person has an issue with vulnerability, openness, um, and revealing how they truly feel. Because in between this influctuation of emotions or a cutting off of emotion and a cutting off of passion, this person is deeply in love with you. They love you. King of Cups. I wanted to see if that was going to, the Spirit was going to reveal that to me again before I said that. But there's this person secretly, they love you. See? That's the pain of the secrecy. And if you're wondering, they do. Because this person is showing you unrequited love. But underneath that, they love you very deeply, Scorpio. Yes, this person loves you very deeply. They pretend as if they don't because they're scared of commitment. But I see this person coming in really fast to stop you from being single here. They're gonna, they, this person's having an awakening themselves. They're realizing just how much they do truly love you, Scorpio. And they're going to come in quick. Knight of Swords wanting to speak to you. Yeah. And you've been losing sleep over them, you know, because there's been a lot of conflict in the energy. But this person I see here is going to reveal... Um, how much they truly love you. Give me one second, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles, please. Mm. Yeah, I see you moving into calmer water here. Six of Swords. Oh, wow, look at this. Your soulmate connection. This is great to see. Soulmate X Twin Flame. You're definitely going to be moving into calmer water here <coughs> because the divine um, has taken control over the connection. Judgment showing up here. This is in direct relation here to the flowers of heaven, um, of heaven's garden. That's the divine answering your prayers. This is the divine answering your prayers and giving you the desires of your heart. By giving both you and this person an awakening. Yeah, because both of you are holding on to the connection. Yeah, and it says here that you'll be going on the right path now. Current energy, 1111 is here. Definitely a committed relationship. And I see you've been all up in your head about it, Scorpio. But things will be moving in, in your favor. Because I see the connection coming together. And upon this communication, you are moving into calmer water. Finally being able to do that. Yeah, I just saw the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Fast communication and healing. You've got the nine of wands, the page of swords, and the chariot. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting to see this, Scorpio, because very quickly, um, and this is current energy, you all have this conversation, you communicate, and you go over things, and you move into common water. But the issue here, Scorpio, is that you all aren't letting go of the pain, past hurts, and this is what's heavily on your mind, because in this Six of Swords, the Spirit is showing me these swords are your thoughts. These swords are the replicator of the pain. And this is you still sitting here, you know, in this feeble position, sad. You know, while the protection of divine is trying to move you out of these troubling thoughts. But you're holding on to them. Which is why you all very quickly end up moving into um, unhealthy communication here. And this is going to leave you wounded looking for ways to not think about this person. Nine of Wands, Page of Swords. But I also see Page of Swords. Um, this is the spy card. This person watching you crumble and just watching you in pain. Um, 
And for some reason here, this is what I don't like to see. Um, see, because there's this fight this between good and evil here, the light and the darkness. Very quickly, there's a betwixting of the energies. Yeah, which is the three-eyed, uh, excuse me, three-headed, nine-eyed snake here in the spirit. That's why um, you have chasing death showing up here in the spirit realm and the three-headed, nine-eyed snake because you're refusing or refuting um, to accept the wisdom and the truth of the divine and what the spirit is leading you to. And you're chasing spiritual death if you don't make the correct choices and changes here. I see that in your energy is just going to cause more conflict. You know, the five of wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's your person. King of Pentacles to the Empress. I see fights and conflict. There may also be other people involved. And you all's connection that's going to cause this conflict. People that are peering in over into your business. Yeah, the spy car there. And this is wounding you. Um, these people here, like I said, for some of you, this is family members that you're sharing your business with. And all they're really doing is making you sadder and causing you more grief. And yeah, you're making the decision to hold on, though, very quickly. So this, this pain, this conflict, and I really feel like, uh, for some of you, that this is going to be an, an internal conflict. For some of you. This is simply going to be an internal conflict. For some of you, Scorpio. Some of you, it, it's not involving other people. It's the parts of you. The selves that reside within you. That have not been corrected or identified. That are causing this betwixting of energies. The, the betrayal of self. That's what this is. And that's very huge in this in this reading for a lot of you. But I see you holding on. You're protecting yourself and protecting your heart, but you're holding on to the commitment. Four of Wands. Could be a marriage for some of you. And fast communication coming back in. I see an apology. Yeah. An emotional apology taking place. Emotional communication. You have victory. Six of wands in the home. You have ace of cups. A showering of love between you two. But what's so strange is this back and forth. And this is really you, Scorpio, going back and forth. And some of you may have some toxic traits. That you're trying to let go of. Because the devil core Capricorn energy is in your energy. Um, and I really truly feel that these, these are negative um, aspects of yourself that you hold on to. That you're trying to release. That's coming in between your connections with other people. Um, seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Emperor. Hmm. See, here we are, Scorpio. I was waiting to see this <coughs> about this secret because the capsule of love is the chamber of secrecy. But there's some secret here, which is that you're going to discover about this person showing up as the emperor. Um, a very defensive energy wanting to take control over you. But you turning your back on this due to some discovery here. The moon is revealing itself here now. Ooh. Yeah. You feel like this person is just in and out of your life. And you're really seriously thinking about ending it now, in the future. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for Scorpio, please? Uh, there was a betrayal. 
Yeah, there's going to be a discovery, some betrayal here in the near future. But also, I see a message here for some of you, Scorpio, that in the near future here, you take a review of your own life and you're unhappy with the investments that you've made in yourself, which caused the loss of control. This is for some of you, Scorpio. And you're in the process of taking control back over your life. Yeah, and this is you turning your back on your own self. Um, and the ultimate betrayal. This is that ultimate betrayal of yourself. You confronting that. And, and confronting what's been hidden behind the moon. Yeah, the soul moon. Mm. And here comes the devil. Trying to steal your joy. Why is the devil here? opportunity for cups mm. but I see you all facing each other again I see you being very fragile showing up as the page of wands and your person showing up as the king of wands here you all facing each other to speak again after some horrible betrayal but I see you all once again in the near future moving from temperance in the reverse, Sagittarius energy, to Three of Cups. To celebrating and justice coming in, Libra energy from a tower moment that's going to take place. Why is Ace of Swords here? Star, yeah. See, this is great, um, Scorpio, because some divine truth. I see you accepting the truth here, Ace of Swords, accepting truth and a wish fulfillment coming in the star, um, Aquarius energy, um, and your wish fulfillment. I truly believe here is going to be the soul connect, soulmate connection. Yeah, because there's a lot of your grief is due to your soulmate connection here. The two of cups are still standing. And because there's been an imbalance, the be the betrayal um, also could be with me seeing Three of Pentacles here, the Devil, Ten of Swords, and also the Six of Pentacles. <coughs> there definitely could be, uh, this person could have been entertaining someone else here, which caused um, a disconnect in the communication between the two of you. It doesn't have to be, but for some of you, I'm sure that is the case. Why is uh, Four of Swords here? Wheel of Fortune. I see things turning in your favor here, Scorpio, concerning this heartbreak. Three of Swords. I mean, major heartbreak. You have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Major heartbreak. Major. Yeah. It looks like because this person chose somebody else over you. Queen of Wands. The lovers. Gemini energy in the upright. Yeah. This person on their end. They're facing some type of internal battle here. Because they're over here. They're deciding whether or not they want to come towards you. Or whether they want to still play the field. See. This is in the main energy. What's going on with this Three of Pentacles please? Yeah, coming up with the new plan because your original plan didn't work. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This has been leaving you trapped. Stuck. This is that stuck energy again, Scorpio. Just stuck. Um, Eight of Swords. Stuck in this, this situation with your home, your, your soulmate connection, committed relationship. Yeah, and coming up with a new plan because there, like I said, there's been a huge tower moment that took place. And you're finding the strength, Leo energy, to let this go, to let it end.
Scorpio energy. This is you coming up in your own energy again. Yeah. And I see you letting what needs to die within you die. Yeah, because you're ready to take these blindfolds off here and face the truth. Yeah, and begin loving yourself fully. But I see you crossing the finish line here, Scorpio. I really do. But it's just like you all are going to be going. I mean, it's not even you all. I feel, Scorpio, you're going to be going back and forth. You're having this internal war with self amidst this internal war about whether or not you want to work on this soulmate connection. There's been a lot of pain. Yeah, the capsule of love, chamber of secrecy. Let's get the energies. What energies does Scorpio need to focus on at this time, spirits? Focus. Yeah, you need to focus at this time. What does uh, Scorpio need to focus on, spirits? Focus on your peace. Yeah, focus on maintaining your peace at this time, Scorpio. Yeah, because you're highly blessed and favored. Blessings are coming your way. It doesn't feel like it, but they are, Scorpio. Yeah, you're going to be able to manifest the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. There's the stars again. You see those stars? Yeah, there's going to be a wish fulfillment taking place out of your darkness. Those stars are rising up out of your nights. Look at that. Yeah, giving you clarity. You need to focus on receiving clarity from the Spirit. I said that earlier, letting the Spirit lead you, I believe. Yeah, because your Spirit at this time is chasing a spiritual death. And you're being warned by the Spirit to discontinue listening to what the enemy is trying to lead you astray to. Who am I speaking to? Yeah, which is causing you to stay in this spontaneous type of behavior. Frivolous behavior. When the spirit is saying, why are you operating in this low vibrational energy when you're magical? You're a magical, magnificent wonder of manifestation. Who am I speaking to? And prosperity is your destiny. That's what you need to be focusing on, Scorpio, and remain inspired. Yeah, remain inspired so that your spark does not die. Yeah, because that's the ultimate goal of the enemy. That the spark and the flame inside you would die. But we come against it. In the name of all that is divine. Well, Scorpio, that's all that I have for you all today on you all's breathing. But before I let you go, I would like to manifest in you all's lives. That no longer would you continue to willingly hurt yourself. That when you come to a realization that you're making decisions that are not in your best interest, you would not only recognize it and know that you're hurting yourself, but then you would make the changes necessary to never hurt yourself again. That the capsule of love be split open and poured out so that no longer would you have to remain a secret. Yeah, allowing someone to put you in private hold you hostage to their own pain because they don't want to commit to you. The unrequited love, yeah, that terrible story, I know it all too well. The giving of the love and no return, Scorpio. How grave such a destiny to face. But the flowers of heaven, yeah, heaven's garden are showering a smell of fragrance so beautiful. That when you open your eyes in the morning, I manifest that you would breathe new life into your soul. That the legacy of your pain would no longer crumble. The multitude of the conception of your spiritual wound. That no longer would you chase death, but you would choose life. And that you would begin to live again. 
I manifest that you would relinquish all pain. And I, really, I also manifest here that the enemy be dissolved in your energy space. I manifest all of these things at this time on behalf of Scorpio in the name of all that is divine. Scorpio, I'll leave you all there with this reading. I really, really appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. Namaste. I love you all. Thank you to my current subscribers. I really appreciate you. If you're new here, welcome on in where we're sojourning soul for truth, wisdom, and meaning as we reach behind the veil and continue the pursuit of relinquishment of the earth realm heart. Please do remember to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It does help. And also, please do leave me a comment. I love to see when you all comment and how I can best manifest in you all's lives as we continue to commune and communicate together with this magnificent community that we're building here. I thank you. I love you all. And I'll see you on the next reading. Take care.